There is something about Orkney that inspires great mystery in any visitor. It is an ancient place, situated just a stone's throw north of Scotland, and it boasts a rich history that reaches far back in time. One of its ancient relics is the Dwarfy Stain, a rather enigmatic prehistoric tomb that sits in the solitude of Hoy Island. Who carved it, and whose remains rested within it, we do not know. But that enigma just opens a whole world of possibilities and quickly stirs the imaginative mind. If you happen to wander in the desolate landscapes of Hoy Island, Orkney's second largest, you might stumble across a wide glaciated valley, roughly in its middle. Sitting between the small settlements of Rackwick and Quoys, it is a green and barren place with steep sides and barely clinging mist that drifts across the landscape. This valley is a truly solitary place. It is not much more than desolate peatland, but it is captivating nonetheless. And right in its center lies the dormant dwarfy stain. It sleep undisturbed for thousands of years. The stone is in fact a rather large and almost naturally rectangular piece of Devonian old red sandstone placed there by the creative hand of mother nature millions of years ago and some of Hoy's ancient inhabitants saw it as an ideal place for a tomb. The stone is a glacial erratic, i.e., a stone that is glacially deposited and differs from the rocks native to the area. That's exactly why it appears to stick out from the landscape. It measures 8.6 meters to 8 feet in length and 4 meters, 13 feet in width, slightly slanted. It is around 2.5 meters high, 8.2 feet at its highest end. Seeing it, one could easily overlook the fact that it is a chambered tomb. On one of its wider sides, there is a small hand-carved entrance, a 1 meter, 3.3 feet square that opens into a very small tomb space. From the entrance is a small passage, 2, 2 meters, 7.2 feet long, with two cells at the sides. The cells measure roughly 1.7 meters by 1 meter, 5.6 feet by 3.3 feet. The height of the ceiling is just 1 meter, 3.3 feet, meaning that anyone entering would have to either be on their knees or really bent over. To this day, it is not known who might have eternally rested in this unique tomb. The tomb space has been carved with a lot of patience and precision. Its sides are perfectly smooth, with small ridges and grooves in the space where the deceased would be laid down. The right cell even has a pillow, a small piece of uncut rock at its inner end. Either way, it is certain that the tomb builders paid a lot of care and attention when carving the tomb. But it must have been a tedious and grueling job, since the old red sandstone has been described as extremely compact and hard, and the only tools available then were made of stone and deer antler. This fact makes the creation of dwarfy stain a feat of awe-inspiring proportions. The Dwarfy Stain has many legends connected to it, just as the name suggests. A local legend states that a dwarf by the name Trollid lived within it, while another, in a rather comical contrast, states that the tomb was built by giants. Of course, it was the work of neither dwarves nor giants, but of Orkney's Neolithic inhabitants. The age of the tomb has been estimated at 3,000 years old or more. Who was it for is not known perhaps an ancient chieftain of Hoy, or a Bronze Age leader of the local tribes. Once the deceased was placed inside, the tomb was sealed with a great square slab, which now lies at the front of the rock. Alas, sometime in the passing centuries, the tomb became the target of grave robbers. Instead of pushing the great slab aside, they carved a hole in the tomb ceiling, plundering whatever lay inside. This hole has been repaired in modern times. The simplicity of dwarfy stain hides its true uniqueness. One curious aspect is its similarity to tombs in southern Europe in the Mediterranean. Many scholars propose that it is the attempt at imitation of Mediterranean tombs, but this theory has been dismissed. It is agreed that the tomb is of local inspiration, and no proof exists that it has any direct links to Mediterranean-type tombs. Still. The Dwarfy Stain is considered the only example of a Neolithic rock-cut tomb in the whole of Britain. This fact alone makes it very unique. Still, despite this uniqueness, the Dwarfy Stain is still consistent 
with the Orkney Cromarty type of chambered tombs that are found on Orkney. But all the other tombs are made of many stones stacked, rather than carved out from a single stone slab as here. The dwarfy stain was always a popular attraction in the region. Over the centuries, many visitors carved crude graffiti, few of which can still be read today. A notable visitor was Captain William Mouncey, who visited in 1850 and left an inscription in Persian. And even though it is somewhat simple at first glance, the dwarfy stain is nevertheless an incredibly important piece of Orkney's distant history and a captivating relic of the Stone Age people who lived there.